Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program to help you integrate the pattern, feelings and beliefs of addiction to marijuana. This program is designed to help you feel better now, and more empowered to handle this issue in daily life. To best benefit from this program, full screen is recommended. Sit upright and still, and while you listen, follow the ball or pattern with your eyes. Alternatively, you may tap on one or more EFT tapping points. Are you ready? Please take full responsibility for your well-being. Section 1. We begin with the negative before reframing the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still love and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I felt powerless over my need to smoke marijuana every day. I believed I couldn't enjoy social gatherings without being high. I constantly worried about running out of marijuana. I felt guilty for spending so much money on my habit. I noticed my relationship suffering but felt too trapped to change. I struggled with concentration and memory loss, which made me feel incompetent. I felt ashamed every time I chose smoking over more productive activities. I saw my physical health decline but felt too dependent to stop. I lied to my loved ones about my usage, which made me feel isolated. I experienced intense anxiety when I tried to quit. I doubted my ability to cope with stress without marijuana. I felt like I was living in a fog, detached from my true self. I regretted the missed opportunities due to my lack of motivation. I felt trapped in a cycle of temporary highs and prolonged lows. I mourned the loss of my potential to the addiction. Section 2. Embrace this soothing, loving perspective to speak to your inner child. Maintain your attention on the screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I understand you felt powerless because you learned that coping with life required external substances. I give myself permission to discover healthier coping mechanisms. It's okay that you believed social joy depended on substances. I am learning to find joy within myself and in genuine connections. I see you were worried about scarcity, which taught you to rely heavily on external sources for security. You deserve to feel secure within. It makes sense that you felt guilty about financial choices, it's a sign you value responsibility. I am embracing financial stewardship with compassion. Your relationship struggles mirrored a deep need for connection. I am worthy of fulfilling relationships that support my growth. Feeling incompetent due to cognitive struggles shows your desire to be sharp and present. I am reclaiming my mental clarity and focus. Choosing marijuana over productivity reflected a need for escape. I am learning to face life's challenges with courage and confidence. Your health concerns show a deep, underlying care for well-being. I am prioritizing my health with loving actions. Lying about usage highlighted a fear of judgment. I am embracing honesty and authenticity in my relationships. Anxiety in quitting revealed a fear of facing life, unaided. You are stronger than you think and capable of facing life head-on. Doubting stress coping abilities shows past resilience. I am developing new, empowering stress management strategies. Feeling detached signifies a deep desire for connection and authenticity. I am reconnecting with my true self in meaningful ways. Regret over missed opportunities indicates a desire for growth and engagement. I am seizing new opportunities with enthusiasm. Feeling trapped in highs and lows shows a yearning for stability. I am creating a balanced and fulfilling life. Mourning lost potential reflects an inherent understanding of your worth. I am rediscovering and fulfilling my potential each day. Section 3. Now, visualize positive change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace my inner strength and find joy in sobriety, 
celebrating each step towards freedom. I am open to forming genuine connections that bring true joy, independent of any substances. I could consider the abundance of security within myself, independent of external factors. It would be nice if I acknowledged my financial wisdom and made empowered choices that reflect my true values. It is possible that I can nurture relationships that uplift and support me, as I heal and grow. I can start to engage in activities that enhance my mental agility, embracing clarity and presence. I am willing to explore fulfilling activities that resonate with my authentic self, replacing the need for escape. I have the opportunity to honor my body with nurturing care and healthful practices. I am capable of cultivating transparency and trust in my relationships through authenticity. I embrace the idea of facing life's challenges with inner strength, building resilience and confidence. I am ready to develop effective stress management techniques that empower and rejuvenate me. I am beginning to see the value in connecting deeply with my authentic self, enriching my life experience. I am receptive to embracing new opportunities that align with my passions and goals, energizing my spirit. I am shifting towards a balanced life, where stability and joy come from within, not from fleeting highs. I am open-minded about rediscovering and leveraging my potential in ways that bring fulfillment and purpose. Section 4. Bridging the journey from challenge to transformation. Remember to maintain your focus on the screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I felt powerless over my need to smoke marijuana every day, I give myself permission to discover healthier coping mechanisms, and I am choosing now to embrace my inner strength and find joy in sobriety, celebrating each step towards freedom. Even though I believed I couldn't enjoy social gatherings without being high, I am learning to find joy within myself and in genuine connections, and I am open to forming genuine connections that bring true joy, independent of any substances. Even though I constantly worried about running out of marijuana, I deserve to feel secure within, and I could consider the abundance of security within myself, independent of external factors. Even though I felt guilty for spending so much money on my habit, I am embracing financial stewardship with compassion, and it would be nice if I acknowledged my financial wisdom and made empowered choices that reflect my true values. Even though I noticed my relationship suffering but felt too trapped to change, I am worthy of fulfilling relationships that support my growth, and it is possible that I can nurture relationships that uplift and support me, as I heal and grow. Even though I struggled with concentration and memory loss, which made me feel incompetent, I am reclaiming my mental clarity and focus, and I can start to engage in activities that enhance my mental agility, embracing clarity and presence. Even though I felt ashamed every time I chose smoking over more productive activities, I am learning to face life's challenges with courage and confidence, and I am willing to explore fulfilling activities that resonate with my authentic self, replacing the need for escape. Even though I saw my physical health decline but felt too dependent to stop, I am prioritizing my health with loving actions, and I have the opportunity to honor my body with nurturing care and healthful practices. Even though I lied to my loved ones about my usage, which made me feel isolated, I am embracing honesty and authenticity in my relationships, and I am capable of cultivating transparency and trust in my relationships through authenticity. Even though I experienced intense anxiety when I tried to quit, I am stronger than I think, and capable of facing life head-on and I embrace the idea of facing life's challenges with inner strength, building resilience and confidence. Even though I doubted my ability to cope with stress without marijuana, I am developing new, empowering stress management strategies, and I am ready to develop effective stress management techniques that empower and rejuvenate me.
Even though I felt like I was living in a fog, detached from my true self, I am reconnecting with my true self in meaningful ways, and I am beginning to see the value in connecting deeply with my authentic self, enriching my life experience. Even though I regretted the missed opportunities due to my lack of motivation, I am seizing new opportunities with enthusiasm, and I am receptive to embracing new opportunities that align with my passions and goals, energizing my spirit. Even though I felt trapped in a cycle of temporary highs and prolonged lows, I am creating a balanced and fulfilling life, and I am shifting towards a balanced life, where stability and joy come from within, not from fleeting highs. Even though I mourned the loss of my potential to the addiction, I am rediscovering and fulfilling my potential each day, and I am open-minded about rediscovering and leveraging my potential in ways that bring fulfillment and purpose. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go to section 5. Preemptive gratitude for transformation. I am grateful for the strength within me that guided me through my journey to freedom from addiction. I appreciate my inner wisdom that led me to seek joy and fulfillment in the beauty of authentic connections. I am thankful for the sense of security and peace I now find within myself, independent of external circumstances. I am filled with gratitude for my ability to make empowered financial decisions that reflect my true values. I cherish the deep, supportive relationships I have nurtured, which are based on mutual growth and understanding. I am grateful for the clarity of mind and focus that enrich my daily experiences, allowing me to live fully in the present. I appreciate the courage and confidence I found within to embrace life's challenges and opportunities for growth. I am thankful for the renewed priority I place on my health, celebrating each step towards well-being with loving actions. I am grateful for the authenticity and transparency that have deepened my connections with loved ones, fostering trust and intimacy. I appreciate the inner strength and resilience that empower me to face life confidently, free from the need for any substances. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started. Be attentive to the reduction in the emotional weight of associated memories and changes in how you react to things that used to trigger you. Feel free to repeat this program to completely shift and reframe this pattern and beliefs. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.